Hi, my name is Bob Feig. I'm chief at Fowlerville Area Fire Department in Fowlerville, Michigan. It's about 25 miles east of Lansing. Um, we're here today uh, doing our final check on our Rosenbauer Rescue. We actually bought a very similar apparatus uh, from the FDIC show a couple years ago, and it's worked out great for us. As I said, we purchased the other one at FDIC, and there was a number of things we liked about it. Uh, one of those being uh, it had a 12,000 pound winch on the front and this big brush guard. Uh, we have quite a problem uh, with uh, deer and uh, that type of thing in our area. Uh, we went with this chassis uh, mostly because it's the same chassis that we had on the other. It's an international chassis. Right now our, uh, our rescue is uh, it's a 34 year old rescue truck. So we're really excited about getting this. Um, this has the capability, we can take four uh, fully equipped firefighters uh, from the station to the scene in this truck. Kind of set it up inside all of our uh, main emergency controls right on the council. They did a really nice job in placing uh, our radio communication things and all of our, our sirens and light controls are all right there. One of the main things we did, uh, as I mentioned before, we did get our our first res Rosenbauer rescue, uh, basically right off the FDIC show floor, but we wanted to reconfigure the shelving different. So when we went through on this, we made sure that we, uh, we incorporated the shelving that comes out and drops down. This shelf is rated at 250 pounds. We can get a lot of equipment on there and it's fairly easy access. Yeah, this one also. This is a, a full slide out. So obviously very easy to get to anything we need to on there. We also equipped this truck with uh, the same light tower as what is on our other rescue. It's got four large LED lights and it's all operated on there. Very easy to operate. Uh, we really like the side lighting that Rosenbauer provides on our compartments. Uh, does a real good job at night. We've got the ground lighting that when you put it in park, the ground lighting automatically comes on. Second compartment up, the same as the first, 250 pound rating. And I don't think I mentioned, but uh, the, just the straight slide out, that's a 600 pound capability on this shelf. So any extrication tools, uh, there should not be a problem loading up any of these compartments. We'll probably carry uh, just our basic medical bags. Uh, we're a medical first responder department, but we have uh, several EMTs and one paramedic right now. But this rear compartment, this, this will be, this I can tell you for a fact, it, it will be used for our hydraulic tools. We'll be able to access everything. We're gonna keep our uh, backboards up there. We're gonna keep Stokes basket. We're gonna keep uh, some hand tools that we uh, might need uh, either for car accidents or extrications. This is more than likely where our medical stuff will go. We do have the plugs uh, pre-plumbed in. Another center cabinet, uh, same thing, 250 pounds, 600 pounds rated. We do have electrical in this cabinet also in case we have some overflow plugs that we need to. Very similar set up here, uh, drop down and a slide out. We put a, a full length brow LED light under our light bar. That should light up everything initially when we get on scene so we can start setting up while the driver secures the vehicle, gets it in park and raises the tower. Now that about wraps up uh, the tour of our new Rescue 41. Uh, we're really looking forward to getting it. Uh, I'd like to thank Bob Coulter from uh, Rosenbauer. Uh, he's been instrumental in walking us through the process. We did have uh, something to go by, so to speak, with that original truck, but uh, this has quite a number of uh, different upgrades.